so you want to know more about setting up compressors. Well, that's an easy thing to do. First of all, you need to have good input gain on all your inputs. We've talked about that in another section. That input's got to be hovering right about zero dBU, just like it shows here. And I'm talking right now about a foot, foot and a half away from the microphone. So let's go now and look at the compressor controls. So we go to input compressor. We have several controls. We have threshold, attack, and release. You can leave these two pretty much alone. The critical one is ratio and threshold. So start with the ratio. For most conference rooms, boardrooms, courtrooms, any type of uh, spoken word application, a 3 to 1 ratio is a good place to start. What that means is that for every 3 decibels of increased level in the source, like Mr. Loud Talker guy, you will have only a decibel increase in actual level. So you will get the perception of an increase in level when he emphasizes, but you don't blow the system out. So now we have a 3 to 1 compression. What we need to do now is set up the threshold properly so that we are capturing a, uh, a threshold that will have some meaning. So you turn the threshold down until you see steady flash right at the beginning of the signal. See right here, it's now I'm getting a little bit of a flicker of gain reduction on the gain reduction meter that shows that I'm hovering right at the threshold. Now, if I suddenly jump on the microphone like Mr. Loud Guy at the city council meeting, I can get in on the microphone good and loud, just like I am right now, and there's relatively little, little increase in the level to the listener. Now let's turn it off and see what happens. We'll just go ahead and knock it completely down. So here I am, Mr. Loud Guy, talking a few uh, feet away from the microphone, and then I suddenly get on top of it. You can hear how much louder my voice has become. In fact, if we engage this while Mr. Loud Guy is talking and bring in that 3 to 1 ratio, you can hear the changes in the level. So now, Mr. Loud Guy can't overload the system, yet the soft talker or the normal talker who's operating at the normal distance from the microphone will easily be heard. You can make the changes by grabbing the slider here. You can make the changes by adjusting the scroll bars here or you can make changes by simply entering a value into the field. So if we wanted this to be 3 to 1, you could just simply highlight this and make it 3. And now we have a 3 to 1 ratio. There we go. So we are at 3 to 1. I'm the soft talker, and now I'm the loud talker, and you get very little difference in the level. This really controls the dynamic range of your system and helps even out sources. You can do this even on the DMTH4 when you're setting up levels for the incoming telephone signal. Because we all know how telephone signals can be sometimes very soft, sometimes really loud, depending on the quality of the phone connection. So get a soft talker at the far end when you're setting it up, apply a compressor to it, and then make up the gain. Remember, I just lowered the level a little bit, so we can make up the gain by simply raising up this control right down here. That is make up gain. Now the signal is back to nominal level, and yet someone gets really loud into the system. They don't overload it. This smooths out your dynamic response of your system.